Hey church, my name is Heather, and today's Devo is out of John 12, verses 20 through 36. Now among those who went up to worship at the feast were some Greeks. So these came to Philip, who is from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. And Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. Now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour, but for this purpose I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven, I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd that stood there and heard it said that it had thundered. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not mine. Now is the judgment of the world. Now will the ruler of this world be cast out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to show by what kind of death he was going to die. So the crowd answered him, we have heard from the law that the Christ remains forever. How can you say that the son of man must be lifted up? Who is this son of man? So Jesus said to them, The light is among you for a little while longer. Walk while you have the light, lest darkness overtake you. The one who walks in darkness does not know where he is going. While you have the light, believe in the light, that you may become sons of light. And I felt like God was highlighting as, as I read through it and just um, processed through the passage a little bit that Jesus commands the crowd that he's talking to to do two things. The first one is to walk in the light and that prevents them from being overtaken by darkness. But then the second thing that he commands them to do is to believe in the light. And believing in the light is what allows them to be adopted as sons of light. And I felt like God wants us to really focus on believing in him, walking in him, and so doing the practical things that um, are obedient, are, are good, and they prevent us from being overcome by darkness, but God is first and foremost after the belief of our hearts. He wants to be our savior, he wants to be our Lord, and he wants to be our treasure. And in John 6, uh, Jesus says that this is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. And so even Jesus describes the work that we're supposed to do as believers is to believe in Jesus. And so in this Holy Week, I, I feel like God wants us to focus on the fact that our unbelief was nailed to the cross too. Any doubt that we have or any um, questions or even just the parts of our heart that, that aren't awake yet, that God is still working in, um, he has the patience to walk with us through unbelief. And so I'm gonna pray into that and I would challenge you to take any parts of your heart this week that are unbelieving, um, that you notice that aren't quite alive to, to, to Jesus or to the things that he's done on the cross or, or whatever it may be, like take some time to ask God um, what that may be for you. Um, but the, those parts of our heart that aren't awake and that are doubting or that, are, that aren't believing, doing the work of God to believe in Jesus, um, that they would be captured by the hope of the cross this week. So, so Jesus, we love you. Um, we worship you this morning and today and just this week as we reflect on the cross and just what that means for us as those who follow you um, and just for the world, uh, being human and being your creation too. God, we just ask that you would come and help us in our unbelief, God. Awaken our hearts to the things that you are, that you are doing, God. Um, may we see how you are faithful in the little. May we see how you speak to us throughout the day. And we may, may we see that, that through, through beauty, God, that we can see goodness still um, in a world where things feel chaotic, God, that the little things, the little bits of beauty, would we allow them to speak to our hearts and to speak um, just that we may see you in all creation and that the parts of our hearts that are doubting or unbelieving would see that you are who you say you are and that what you have done on the cross um, is final, God. It is finished, and we can believe and hope in your victory. God, would you allow your victory to wake us up, to wake us up that we may see, um, yeah, that we may just see the world through kingdom goggles, that we would have a vision of heaven coming to earth and believe that, that God, we carry your spirit in us, um, and your spirit can, oh, can bring our hearts to life and can turn our unbelief to belief. 
Jesus, we love you. Um, we worship you and we're just thankful for all that you've done, God. May we just see the cross anew this week. Amen. All right, guys, have a good rest of your day.